it's such a safe place. It's, it's just very comfortable. It's like a warm blanket or something. I've rarely been in a place where I feel so free to be who I am. And that's one of the things that I'm noticing as the class progresses is just <laughs> an increasing level of comfort with who I am. Like I don't have to pretend to be somebody that I'm, <laughs> that I'm not. I always thought, my God, those people are all smiling and they seem light and loving. And I thought, eh, can that really be? And I'm really finding out that, yes, it can really be. And I'm being it. So it's been really cool. It's oh. beautiful. Really. Yeah, you are being it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm very grateful for the keys we get in the traveler sharings and in the forums and in the presentations of what I would say, uh, acknowledged MSIA leaders in their fields. The other thing is the permanent support I feel from the cohort, from the circle and the presence of all of you in my life, even in between the residencies. So it's an ongoing spiritual support. There's 35 of us from around the world and I feel like we're all on a, on a boat together or on a magic carpet ride together, but we're all, when someone is sharing and I can see the loving and the learning is so present, it lifts me too, it lifts all of us. I feel like we're all kind of together lifting. Yep. And I've been in MSIA for a while now and uh, this Transcendent Leadership Program is a little different for me. The transcendent learner in me is really present. There is so much wisdom in the contributions of every participant, of every one of us, that's learning from one another too. It's not just a program as it is prepared, what is prepared in spirit. <laughs> and that comes through us too. Yeah, and that's part of the program.